Minimalism isn't about having less. It's about appreciating what you have more. It's about ascribing more value to the moment you are in than to the cost of a product. If you are a minimalist, then you don't feel the need to go shopping all the time, to have the trendiest wardrobe, or to buy the accessories of the moment. But that's not the entire story. When pursuing a more minimalist lifestyle, you have the desire to strip away things that weigh you down, both physically by taking up space in your closet or your home, but as well as mentally. And perhaps mental minimalism is the most difficult to achieve. But if clearing out your closet makes you feel light and free, then imagine what clearing out your mind can do for your spirit. It means taking control of your thoughts and emotions, of removing yourself from people and situations that bring heaviness to your heart and soul, and of giving yourself the grace to understand that you are trying your best. Learning that it's okay to say no if something doesn't feel right to you, or if it doesn't line up with your belief system, can be a huge challenge. But it is also so rewarding. And if somebody tries to make you feel guilty because your no inconveniences them in some way, well then maybe they aren't the right person to be around. It comes back to the very simple fact that Time is so precious. And I'm not talking about time is money, that famous quote by Benjamin Franklin that some people so love to throw around in order to often justify unkindness. I'm referring to the intrinsic value of each and every single moment of ours on this world. By taking a more minimal approach to your life in general, you're kind of compelled to give each moment of your life the value that it deserves. When you stop forcing the chatter of societal existence into your daily life, then you have the time to really take a look at how you want to spend your moments, especially your free moments. Because no, I'm not talking about quitting your job and going to live under a palm tree somewhere. <laughs> This isn't about running away from responsibilities, but rather figuring out how you want to spend the moments between those responsibilities. Because those are the moments that can give your life the joy it deserves. Those are the moments that will, ultimately, stand out. The trick is to not go through those moments without realizing that they are passing you by. There are so many ways today that one can simply pass the time, where answering a quick work email for two minutes turns into two hours of mindlessly scrolling through the sales section of a favorite brand or the newsfeed of a celebrity's social media page. But there's so much more to life than that. Life should be the sum of calming moments, beautiful views, friendly encounters, and exciting adventures. This isn't about filling up your time, but about intentionally ascribing a specific value to it and then embracing it while you are in that moment. So don't overthink it. Life is meant to be lived and enjoyed, not to be cluttered up by the past in any form. It's about finding those moments worthy of a wagging tail or a fast skateboard ride, or 
a calming swim with a friend. So strip away the heaviness and reach out to grasp moments that matter. Moments that you will remember. These are the moments that make a difference and their value exceeds anything that money can ever buy. <laughs>